Pearl Tutorial Part 79 Type Globs Now type globs are like aliases and we can tie a variable name to a new variable name with a type glob. Type globs are a bit like a wild card that stand for all data types like variables, arrays, hashes and subroutines so it's probably best to show you by example so let's create a variable called data a variable of data now let's create an array called data Let's create a hash called data. And let's create a subroutine called data. Okay, so now we're going to set up an alias for our name data. So, star, let's call our type glob alias data equals data. So now we can use the name alias data as a synonym for the name data. So let's print alias data scalar. So this will print a variable of data. Let's run this. A variable of data. Okay, so now let's print out the array. We do that like this. Print alias data with the array symbol. Let's run this. An array of data. Now let's print out the hash value for big. Let's run this. Dog. Now let's run the subroutine. Subroutine of data. So type globs, you can see that Perl stores all the names of all data types associated with the name. Now if we want to type glob just one kind of data so let's copy our variable and our array. Now if I want to alias just the data variable I 
can do it like that and then I can print my alias data variable so let's run this so that just prints out a variable of data now we can assign our alias data type glob just to our array called data and then print out our alias like so an array of data okay so that's the tutorial on type globs other uses for type globs would include passing file handles to functions creating new file handles and making copies of file handles so that's type globs.